Hello everybody, welcome to the Ginger on Wheels channel where today we are going to be solving a burning question in the electric scooter community. To duel or not to duel? That is the question. And of course by that I mean, is it more efficient to ride in single motor mode or dual motor mode? So let me roll the intro and let's test it and figure it out. All right, everybody, welcome. This is uh, probably gonna end up being a video that gets a lot of views, because this is a very, very touchy subject in the electric scooter community. You've got half the people who are insistent that dual motor mode gets better range, and you've got half the people who think that single motor mode gets better range because you're only using one motor. Now, of course, it seems counterintuitive to think that dual motor mode would get better range, but when you're using dual motor mode, both of the motors are working in harmony. And when you're in single motor mode, you have that rear motor pushing against the resistance of the front motor so arguably doing a lot more work than it should now for those of you that follow my youtube shorts you know that i did this range test already i did it in dual motor mode okay so we did the 33 mile range test last night that was around 28 miles an hour ish or 27 um when i fully charged it back up I can see I put 2,357 watt hours back into the battery. Considering this is only a 2,500 watt hour battery, this thing was really close to dead, like 10% off dead or less. Which is more or less the entire battery. I'm, I was really surprised that the battery gauge still said I had 20% or so when the charger shows that the battery was more or less completely dead. Because if you do 72 volts, which is, that's this scooter, the Cabo Wolf King GT, times 35, we have a 35 amp hour battery in here, you get something about around 2,500 watt hours. That's how you do the calculation for watt hours, volts times amp hours. So we're doing this exact same route. I'm on the exact same scooter, same rider. It's the same temperature, which I had to wait a few days to actually find a day with the same temperature as it was light out. And we're doing this the exact same route, except we're doing it in single motor mode right now. But I'm gonna try my best to absolutely mash the circumstances and the conditions for the dual motor range tests. So today, at the end of this video, we should be able to solve the question, is it more efficient to use single or dual motor mode? Because I'm going to do the whole route in single motor mode like I just said. We're gonna go plug the scooter back in and when the scooter reaches a full charge, the charger will tell us if we use more or less watt hours on the route. Right now we're just in single motor mode. We've got the rear motor working against the resistance of the front motor plus all my weight plus the scooter weight. That rear motor is doing work and it is getting hot in here. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see the display that well. It shows the rear motor is 49 degrees Celsius and the front one is 25 degrees Celsius and we're pulling about 20 amps of current at 24 miles per hour. So anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll turn it back on when we're close to done with the range test. So I'll keep this video nice and short for you guys. I've done it. After miles of trying, I've successfully locked the cruise on 27 miles per hour. I don't know why that is so difficult. Now I can just cruise. This is great. There's nobody out today. There's like everyone just inside enjoying the cold Saturday. Ah, we had snow in the forecast, but it changed to just kidding, only overcast. So everyone made plans to stay at home and play video games, except ginger on wheels. When there are no people, this is a really relaxing route. This is great. Free as a bird. Oh, by the way, um, 75 volts left and we're 13 miles into the trip. We've got the gauge says 68% battery left. I do not have the scooter headlights on, by the way, because that will be using extra battery. I'm just using my PEV Firelight right there on the right. The PEV Firelight on the 2000 lumen setting is just as bright as both of the Wolf Warrior headlights, FYI. Plus it has a wider throw, so I actually enjoy it more. So what else can we talk about on this ride of ours? Oh, I can tell you I'm going to North Carolina next week. Or I guess by the time you watch this, I'll be in North Carolina. I'm going to visit my sister, that's where she lives. I've had like three or four gadgets shipped to her house, so we're gonna be doing review videos together while I'm over there. Give us something to do. She also has a new puppy, so maybe we'll teach the puppy to ride a scooter, I don't know. But yeah, going to North Carolina. All right, scooter says we have 16% battery left right now at this speed, and it says 66 volts. Dead on this scooter, I think it's 59 volts, so that gives us seven volts to work with, more or less. 15% battery according to the gauge now. This is gonna be a really, really close one. There are some people who argue till they're blue in the face that 
You get like 50% more range if you use dual motor mode. I don't know what they're smoking, but uh, yeah, there are people that are very insistent that dual motor mode or single motor mode gets better range, but they're gonna be very, very close by the time we get back to the house. I'll tell you that much. Within 10% of each other, I think. Bada bada. Ooh, big old bump, unmarked too. We gotta come to stops and starts as fast as we can on this ride or else we're gonna screw with the average speed. We're on the final stretch here. Did you guys hear about Dagwood Streets? The electric scooter podcast, he was the host, but the podcast is no more. I think there's like one more episode left and then he's gonna stop moving to Thailand and he's gonna start a Thailand podcast. But I did hear electric scooter guide is going to be replacing him in the podcast realm, podcast world. Electric Scooter Guide podcast strikes me as one to miss. I have a feeling that's just gonna be a, an actual hour long commercial. This is gonna be such a close range test, or power usage tests, I guess they wanna call it. You know, one thing I noticed about these PMT slicks, I was getting a lot more people turning around to see what was coming towards them on the trail from a lot farther away than I normally do. So I think, I can't hear it because of all the wind noise in my helmet, but I think that the road, the road noise on these PMT tires is a lot louder than normal, which would make sense because they have like full contact patch with the asphalt, right? All right, we're so close to the end here. So close to the end. This hill right here is the final stretch. At the top of the hill, the range test is over. And then we get to go home and do the fun part and charge and see how much juice we actually used. We're gonna see how much more efficient single motor mode is than dual motor mode. All right, right at the top of this hill. So close, I can almost feel it. Right here. This is the end. Okay, now that we've got to the end of our route, 29 miles, I just stopped my relive tracker. We're gonna go into the house and we're gonna plug the scooter into the charger and then the charger will tell us in six hours how much juice we used on this ride. That's the interesting part we're all waiting for, right? I just fell asleep after a nice dinner. It's 3.30 in the morning now. The scooter's fully charged and he's most enjoying his water. The final verdict is in. How many watt hours did we use? 2167. Doot, doot, doot. We have a winner. So I'll put the numbers on the screen now. How many watt hours did we use in single motor mode per mile? And how many watt hours did we use in dual motor mode per mile? And you can take this away, screenshot it, go show your friends and tell them you know for sure that single motor mode uses less power. I don't want to hear and I don't want to hear any arguments online anymore. It's been proven less power considerably in single motor mode for the same route. Okay? And while we're here, I want to go ahead and thank all of my patrons over on Patreon. They really do help keep the channel going. No, I did not buy these scooters. They're sent to me as demos for testing. I'm not a, some rich guy with a YouTube channel. I really do appreciate all the patrons over on Patreon. That's why I've started the new early access program where members of the YouTube channel and Patreon are going to be getting 24 hour early access to all the videos and priority response in the comments. If you have any questions about your scooter or you want to talk shop, I'm always here for people that are patrons or members of the channel because you guys keep it going. All right, that's all. Have a nice night, everyone.